In statistics, dependence or association is any statistical relationship, whether causal or not, between two random variables or bivariate data. In the broadest sense correlation is any statistical association, though it commonly refers to the degree to which a pair of variables are linearly related. Familiar examples of dependent phenomena include the correlation between the physical statures of parents and their offspring, and the correlation between the demand for a limited supply product and its price. Correlations are useful because they can indicate a predictive relationship that can be exploited in practice. For example, an electrical utility may produce less power on a mild day based on the correlation between electricity demand and weather. In this example, there is a causal relationship, because extreme weather causes people to use more electricity for heating or cooling. However, in general, the presence of a correlation is not sufficient to infer the presence of a causal relationship i.e., correlation does not imply causation. Formally, random variables are dependent if they do not satisfy a mathematical property of probabilistic independence. In informal parlance, correlation is synonymous with dependence. However, when used in a technical sense, correlation refers to any of several specific types of relationship between mean values. There are several correlation coefficients, often denoted rho, display style rho, or r, display style r, measuring the degree of correlation. The most common of these is the Pearson correlation coefficient, which is sensitive only to a linear relationship between two variables, which may be present even when one variable is a nonlinear function of the other. Other correlation coefficients have been developed to be more robust than the Pearson correlation, that is, more sensitive to nonlinear relationships. Mutual information can also be applied to measure dependence between two variables. Topic: Pearson's product moment coefficient. Topic: Definition. The most familiar measure of dependence between two quantities is the Pearson product moment correlation coefficient, or Pearson's correlation coefficient, commonly called simply the correlation coefficient. It is obtained by dividing the covariance of the two variables by the product of their standard deviations. Carl Pearson developed the coefficient from a similar but slightly different idea by Francis Galton, the population correlation coefficient rho x y display style rho underscore x y between two random variables x display style x and y display style y with expected values mu x display style mu underscore x and mu y display style mu underscore y and standard deviations sigma x display style sigma underscore x and sigma y display style sigma underscore y is defined as where e display style operator name e is the expected value operator cov display style operator name cov means covariance and core Display style operator name core is a widely used alternative notation for the correlation coefficient. 
The Pearson correlation is defined only if both standard deviations are finite and positive. Topic: <laughs> Symmetry property. The correlation coefficient is symmetric. Cor x y equals cor y x display style operator name cor x y equals operator name cor y x this is verified by the commutative property of multiplication topic Correlation and independence It is a corollary of the Cauchy Schwartz inequality that the absolute value of the Pearson correlation coefficient is not bigger than 1. The correlation coefficient is plus 1 in the case of a perfect direct increasing linear relationship correlation, minus 1 in the case of a perfect decreasing inverse linear relationship anti-correlation, and some value in the open interval. Minus 1 1 display style minus 1 1 in all other cases, indicating the degree of linear dependence between the variables. As it approaches zero there is less of a relationship closer to uncorrelated. The closer the coefficient is to either minus 1 or 1, the stronger the correlation between the variables. If the variables are independent, Pearson's correlation coefficient is zero, but the converse is not true because the correlation coefficient detects only linear dependencies between two variables. For example, suppose the random variable x is symmetrically distributed about zero, and y equals x 2 display style y equals x caret 2 then y display style y is completely determined by x display style x so that x display style x and y display style y are perfectly dependent but their correlation is zero they are uncorrelated however in the special case when x display style x and y display style y a jointly normal uncorrelatedness is equivalent to independence Topic. Sample correlation coefficient Given a series of n measurements of the pair x i y i display style x underscore i y underscore i indexed by i equals 1 n display style i equals 1 l dots n the sample correlation coefficient can be used to estimate the population pearson correlation rho x y display style rho underscore x y between x display style x and y display style y the sample correlation coefficient is defined as r x y equals d e f i equals 1 n X I minus 
x y i minus y n minus 1 s x s y equals i equals 1 n x i minus x y i minus y i equals 1 n x i minus x 2 i equals 1 n y i minus y 2 Display style R underscore x y quad overset underset mathram def equals quad frac sum limits underscore I equals one carrot N x underscore I bar x y underscore I bar y N one S underscore x S underscore y equals frac sum limits underscore I equals one carrot N x underscore I bar x y underscore I bar y S Q R T sum limits underscore I equals one carrot N x underscore I bar x carrot two sum limits underscore I equals one carrot N Y underscore I bar Y carrot two where X display style overline X and Y display style overline Y are the sample means of X display style X and Y display style Y and S X display style S underscore X and S Y display style S underscore Y are the corrected sample standard deviations of X display style X and Y display style Y equivalent expressions for r x y display style r underscore x y r r x y equals x i y i minus n x Y N S X S Y equals N X I Y I minus X I Y I N X I two minus X I two N Y I two minus Y I two Display style begin aligned R underscore x y and equals frac sum x underscore i y underscore i n bar x bar y ends underscore x s underscore y five p t and equals frac n sum x underscore i y underscore i sum x underscore i sum y underscore i s q r t n sum x underscore i carrot two sum x underscore I carrot two tilde SQRT N some Y underscore I carrot two some Y underscore I carrot two end aligned where S X display style S underscore X and S Y display style S underscore Y are the uncorrected sample standard deviations of x display style x and y 
display style y if x display style x and y display style y are results of measurements that contain measurement error the realistic limits on the correlation coefficient are not minus 1 to plus 1 but a smaller range for the case of a linear model with a single independent variable the coefficient of determination r squared is the square of r x y Display style r underscore x y Pearson's product moment coefficient. Topic example. Consider the joint probability distribution of x. Display style x and y. Display style y given in the table below for this joint distribution the marginal distributions are p x equals x equals 1 third for x equals 0 and 2 thirds for x equals 1 display style operator name p x equals x equals begin cases 1 third and quad text for x equals 0 2 thirds and quad text for x equals 1 end cases p y equals y equals 1 third for y equals minus 1 and a a third for y equals zero and a third for y equals one. Display style operator name p y equals y equals begin cases one third and quad text for y equals minus one one third and quad text for y equals zero one third and quad text for y equals one end cases. This yields the following expectations and variances: mu x equals two thirds. Display style mu underscore x equals two thirds mu y equals zero display style mu underscore y equals zero sigma x two equals two ninths display style sigma underscore x carrot two equals two ninths sigma y two equals two thirds display style sigma underscore y carrot two equals two thirds therefore rho x y equals one sigma x sigma Y E X minus mu X Y minus mu Y equals one Sigma X Sigma Y X Y X minus mu X Y minus mu Y P X equals X Y equals y equals 1 minus 2 thirds minus 1 minus 0 1 3 plus 0 minus 2 thirds 0 minus 0 1 3 plus 1 minus 2 thirds 1 minus 0 1 3 equals 0 Display style begin aligned row underscore x y and equals frac one sigma underscore x sigma underscore y operator name e x mu underscore x y mu underscore y five p t and equals frac one sigma underscore x sigma underscore y sum underscore x y x mu underscore x y mu underscore y operator name p x equals x y equals y 5 pt and equals 1 minus 2 thirds 1 to 0 frac 1 3 plus 0 minus 2 thirds 0 to 0 frac 1 3 plus 1 minus 2 thirds 1 to 0 frac 1 3 equals 0 end aligned topic Rank correlation coefficients 
rank correlation coefficients, such as Spearman's rank correlation coefficient and Kendall's rank correlation coefficient tau, measure the extent to which, as one variable increases, the other variable tends to increase, without requiring that increase to be represented by a linear relationship. If, as the one variable increases, the other decreases, the rank correlation coefficients will be negative. It is common to regard these rank correlation coefficients as alternatives to Pearson's coefficient, used either to reduce the amount of calculation or to make the coefficient less sensitive to non-normality in distributions. However, this view has little mathematical basis, as rank correlation coefficients measure a different type of relationship than the Pearson product moment correlation coefficient, and are best seen as measures of a different type of association, rather than as alternative measure of the population correlation coefficient. To illustrate the nature of rank correlation, and its difference from linear correlation, consider the following four pairs of numbers. X Y Display style X Y Zero one ten one hundred one hundred and one five hundred one hundred and two two thousand as we go from each pair to the next pair X Display style X increases and so does Y Display style Y this relationship is perfect in the sense that an increase in x display style x is always accompanied by an increase in y display style y. This means that we have a perfect rank correlation, and both Spearman's and Kendall's correlation coefficients are 1, whereas in this example Pearson product moment correlation coefficient is 0 0.7544, indicating that the points are far from lying on a straight line. In the same way if y display style y always decreases when x display style x increases the rank correlation coefficients will be minus 1 while the pearson product moment correlation coefficient may or may not be close to minus 1 depending on how close the points are to a straight line Although in the extreme cases of perfect rank correlation the two coefficients are both equal being both plus 1 or both minus 1, this is not generally the case, and so values of the two coefficients cannot meaningfully be compared. For example, for the three pairs 1, 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, Spearman's coefficient is one half, while Kendall's coefficient is one third. Topic. Other measures of dependence among random variables The information given by a correlation coefficient is not enough to define the dependence structure between random variables. The correlation coefficient completely defines the dependence structure only in very particular cases, for example when the distribution is a multivariate normal distribution. See diagram above. In the case of elliptical distributions it characterizes the hyper ellipses of equal density, however, it does not completely characterize the dependent structure for example, a multivariate T distribution's degrees of freedom determine the level of tail dependence. Distance correlation was introduced to address the deficiency of Pearson's correlation that it can be zero for dependent random variables, zero distance correlation implies independence. The randomized dependence coefficient is a computationally efficient, copula-based measure of dependence between multivariate random variables. RDC is invariant with respect to nonlinear scalings of random variables, is capable of discovering a wide range of functional association patterns and takes value zero at independence. 
For two binary variables, the odds ratio measures their dependence, and takes range non-negative numbers, possibly infinity 0 plus infinity display style 0 plus inf t related statistics such as yule's y and yule's q normalize this to the correlation like range minus 1 1 display style minus 1 1 the odds ratio is generalized by the logistic model to model cases where the dependent variables are discrete and there may be one or more independent variables. The correlation ratio, entropy-based mutual information, total correlation, dual total correlation and polychoric correlation are all also capable of detecting more general dependencies, as is consideration of the copula between them, while the coefficient of determination generalizes the correlation coefficient to multiple regression. Sensitivity to the data distribution The degree of dependence between variables x and y does not depend on the scale on which the variables are expressed. That is, if we are analyzing the relationship between X display style X and Y display style Y. Most correlation measures are unaffected by transforming X display style X to a plus B X and Y display style Y to C plus D Y, where A, B, C, and D are constants B and D being positive. This is true of some correlation statistics as well as their population analogues. Some correlation statistics, such as the rank correlation coefficient, are also invariant to monotone transformations of the marginal distributions of X and or Y display style Y. Most correlation measures are sensitive to the manner in which x display style x and y display style y are sampled. Dependencies tend to be stronger if viewed over a wider range of values. Thus, if we consider the correlation coefficient between the heights of fathers and their sons over all adult males, and compare it to the same correlation coefficient calculated when the fathers are selected to be between 165 cm and 170 cm in height, the correlation will be weaker in the latter case. Several techniques have been developed that attempt to correct for range restriction in one or both variables, and are commonly used in meta-analysis, the most common are Thorndike's case 2 and case 3 equations. Various correlation measures in use may be undefined for certain joint distributions of X and Y. For example, the Pearson correlation coefficient is defined in terms of moments, and hence will be undefined if the moments are undefined. Measures of dependence based on quantiles are always defined. Sample-based statistics intended to estimate population measures of dependence may or may not have desirable statistical properties such as being unbiased, or asymptotically consistent, based on the spatial structure of the population from which the data were sampled. Sensitivity to the data distribution can be used to an advantage. For example, scaled correlation is designed to use the sensitivity to the range in order to pick out correlations between fast components of time series. By reducing the range of values in a controlled manner, the correlations on long time scale are filtered out and only the correlations on short time scales are revealed. Topic. 
Topic: Correlation matrices. The correlation matrix of n display style n random variables x 1 x n display style x underscore 1 l dots x underscore n is the n times n display style n times n matrix whose i j display style i j entry is core x i x j display style operator name core x underscore i x underscore j if the measures of correlation used are product moment coefficients, the correlation matrix is the same as the covariance matrix of the standardized random variables x i sigma x i display style x underscore i sigma x underscore i for i equals one n display style i equals one dots n. This applies both to the matrix of population correlations, in which case sigma display style sigma is the population standard deviation, and to the matrix of sample correlations, in which case sigma display style sigma denotes the sample standard deviation. Consequently, each is necessarily a positive semidefinite matrix. Moreover, the correlation matrix is strictly positive definite if no variable can have all its values exactly generated as a linear function of the values of the others. The correlation matrix is symmetric because the correlation between x i display style x underscore i and x j display style x underscore j is the same as the correlation between x j display style x underscore j and x i display style x underscore i the correlation matrix appears for example in one formula for the coefficient of multiple determination a measure of goodness of fit in multiple regression in statistical modeling correlation matrices representing the relationships between variables are categorized into different correlation structures which are distinguished by factors such as the number of parameters required to estimate them for example, in an exchangeable correlation matrix, all pairs of variables are modeled as having the same correlation, so all non-diagonal elements of the matrix are equal to each other. On the other hand, an autoregressive matrix is often used when variables represent a time series, since correlations are likely to be greater when measurements are closer in time. Other examples include independent, unstructured, m-dependent, and terplets. Topic: Uncorrelatedness and independence of stochastic processes. Similarly, for two stochastic processes, x t t element of T display style left x underscore t right underscore t in math call t and y t t element of t display style left y underscore t right underscore t in math call t if they are independent then they are uncorrelated. T 
Topic: <laughs> Common misconceptions. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Correlation and causality. The conventional dictum that correlation does not imply causation means that correlation cannot be used to infer a causal relationship between the variables. This dictum should not be taken to mean that correlations cannot indicate the potential existence of causal relations. However, the causes underlying the correlation, if any, may be indirect and unknown, and high correlations also overlap with identity relations tautologies, where no causal process exists. Consequently, a correlation between two variables is not a sufficient condition to establish a causal relationship in either direction. A correlation between age and height in children is fairly causally transparent, but a correlation between mood and health in people is less so. Does improved mood lead to improved health, or does good health lead to good mood, or both? Or does some other factor underlie both? In other words, a correlation can be taken as evidence for a possible causal relationship, but cannot indicate what the causal relationship, if any, might be. Topic: <laughs> Correlation and linearity. The Pearson correlation coefficient indicates the strength of a linear relationship between two variables, but its value generally does not completely characterize their relationship. In particular, if the conditional mean of y display style y given x display style x denoted e y X display style operator name e y mid x is not linear in x display style x. The correlation coefficient will not fully determine the form of e y x display style operator name e y mid x. The adjacent image shows scatter plots of Anscombe's quartet, a set of four different pairs of variables created by Francis Anscombe. The four y display style y variables have the same mean 7.5 variance 4.12 correlation 0.816 and regression line y equals 3 plus 0.5x. However, as can be seen on the plots, the distribution of the variables is very different. The first one top left seems to be distributed normally, and corresponds to what one would expect when considering two variables correlated and following the assumption of normality. The second one top right is not distributed normally, while an obvious relationship between the two variables can be observed, it is not linear. In this case the Pearson correlation coefficient does not indicate that there is an exact functional relationship, only the extent to which that relationship can be approximated by a linear relationship. In the third case bottom left, the linear relationship is perfect, except for one outlier which exerts enough influence to lower the correlation coefficient from 1 to 0.816. Finally, the fourth example bottom right shows another example when one outlier is enough to produce a high correlation coefficient, even though the relationship between the two variables is not linear. These examples indicate that the correlation coefficient, as a summary statistic, cannot replace visual examination of the data. Note that the examples are sometimes said to demonstrate that the Pearson correlation assumes that the data follow a normal distribution, but this is not correct. <laughs> Bivariate normal distribution If a pair x y 
display style x y of random variables follows a bivariate normal distribution the conditional mean e x y display style operator name e x mid y is a linear function of y display style y and the conditional mean e y x display style operator name e y mid x is a linear function of x display style x the correlation coefficient rho x y display style rho underscore x y between x display style x and y display style y along with the marginal means and variances of x display style x and y display style y determines this linear relationship e y x equals e y plus rho x y sigma y x minus e x sigma x Display style operator name E Y mid x equals operator name E Y plus row underscore x Y C D O T Sigma underscore Y frac x operator name E x Sigma underscore x where E x Display style operator name E x and E Y Display style operator name e y are the expected value s of x display style x and y display style y respectively and sigma x display style sigma underscore x and sigma Y display style sigma underscore y are the standard deviations of x display style x and y display style y respectively equals equals see also